are massive. Yesterday, on Sunday, Russell Brand was baptized Christian. Yeah. He accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior and was baptized, I believe, in a river. I cannot explain to you just how happy this made my heart. If you guys have ever followed Russell Brand, he is a very, very, very smart man. So smart, in fact, he has exposed truths that have landed him into a position where, well, he had to be attempted to be silenced. As many of you might know, a lot of allegations had come out of by women that he had done things to them in the past, ironically, after speaking these truths. I'm here to tell you guys, my discernment, my Holy Spirit was screaming, mm -mm, don't believe it. He is being set up so that he can be silenced. Isn't this world just a wicked place? Anyways, I have been following Russell now for a while. That man, who he's got it dialed in. But the one thing I just hadn't seen him being dialed in on was the Christian faith. He would do a lot of Buddhist or, you know, meditation, things like that. But I have watched his beautiful journey as he finally discovered Christ. And I cannot tell you guys just how beautiful that journey has been to watch. And yesterday he dedicated his entire life accepting Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior to Christ himself. He explained that as an ex-junkie, he had always searched for that feeling the fix would give to him. Always let down because nothing would replicate the feeling he would have when he was using. But yesterday when he was baptized, he explained the transcendental feeling that he experienced was very much like that, if probably not better. I can fully attest that when you give your life fully to Yeshua and Yahweh, that feeling is unlike anything you've ever experienced before in this life. So guys, I just wanted to share the beautiful news that we have a new brother in Christ, Russell Brand. Congratulations. Welcome to the winning team, Russell Brand. <laughs> we love you. I'm getting baptized. This Sunday, I'm taking the plunge. I'm getting baptized. At the moment, I'm very curious as to what you who have been baptized feel about it, what your expectations are of the event prior and what it's actually like. What's been explained to me is it's an opportunity to die and be reborn, an opportunity to leave the past behind and be reborn in Christ's name, like it says in Galatians, that you can live as an enlightened and awakened person. Sometimes I think of non-Christian perspectives on it, like Marcus Aurelius saying, you are already dead, now live the rest of your life properly. Or the Buddhist saying, put down the corpse. All of these things seem so inviting and beautiful. I know a lot of people are sort of cynical about the increasing interest in Christianity and the return to God. But to me, it's obvious as meaning deteriorates in the modern world, as our value systems and institutions crumble, all of us become increasingly aware that there is this eerily familiar awakening and beckoning figure that we've all known all of our lives within us and around us. And for me, it's very exciting. One of my concerns is I'm thinking about doing it in the River Thames. So I could be getting sort of baptised in toxoplasmosis and E. coli based on what I've learned. So I may be leaving behind the sins, but I might be picking up some pretty serious viruses. Let me know what you guys think about it and how you feel about it. Thanks. Yesterday I got baptised and it was an incredible, profound experience. And many of you will have had your own experiences of baptism and will therefore know what I'm talking about. Many aspects of it were very intimate and personal. The truth is this, as a person that has in the past taken many, many substances and always been disappointed with their inability to deliver the kind of tranquility and peace and even transcendence that I always felt I've been looking for, something occurred in the process of baptism that was incredible, overwhelming, literally overwhelming, because I was obviously underwater and it was the River Thames at some points. So I felt changed, transitioned. Now, of course, even though it's been less than 24 hours, in the interim period, I've already felt like sort of irritation. I've got three children. I've got a job. I've got challenges. I still live in the world. But I feel as if some new resource within me has switched on. So many of your comments have been so beautiful and encouraging, and I really appreciate it. And also even the cynicism, I understand, because some people will just see me as a celebrity. But I don't see me as a celebrity, because I was me when I was a little boy. I was me when I was a junkie. I was me when I was poor. I've been me in all of the different phases. But I recognise that anything in this terrain, in the sort of social media world, could be exploited and utilised. For me, 
I've made the decision and I know what the decision is. I've made it for myself and I pray that it, it will be relevant to my family, in particular my children. My wife's Catholic, you know, she's already made her own choices in this life, including this one. This is new for me. I'm learning and I will make mistakes, but this is my path now. And I already feel incredibly blessed, relieved, nourished, held. It's been an incredible experience. I wish I could tell you exactly about it because there were amazing individuals involved. There were incredible and bizarre incidents that took place that felt serendipitous and laden. You know, I do a show every day. I'll be talking about this stuff in the show because it's part of my mission and it's part of my ministry and it's part of my service. This is new to me and it's a joy to me. And I know that I'm not expected to be perfect and I know that that's not something I'll be able to deliver. Those of you that have embraced me, I'm so grateful. I can't tell you how happy I feel and how relieved I feel. But as you know, if you know, my resources are coming from somewhere else and someone else now. Thank you so much for your support. Let's keep doing this together or certainly I'm just going to do what I'm doing. I love you so much. I'm so grateful to be surrendered in Christ. See you all soon. I'm doing the show a little later. Come watch that if you want. Yesterday,